I'm neither as young as the mayor nor as good looking. <laughs> but he's out of town, so that's the best they could find is me. I, but I'm delighted to be here. Thank you, Karen, for the introduction. Uh, congratulations to all of you, Gary, Carlos, uh, Valeria, uh, uh, all the honorees today. This is a terrific turnout, and thank you all for, for being here. I also want to note that the director of our port is here, Geraldine Nats. Geraldine, where are you? You're here. Thank you for being here. Um, the port's so critical to us. It's the 86. I was at the first uh, breakfast. It wasn't this well attended. I was 35 at the time. Uh, the mayor does send his apologies. He wish he could be here. I think he's been here every year but this. Uh, but. It's, it's something the mayor really cares about is this era we live in, the era of globalization where we joined at the hip with all of our friends around the globe, most particularly in Latin America and in Asia. It's so critical, as Geraldine would tell you, to our port and the growth of our port, which, by the way, is going great guns right now and the future of Los Angeles. We're the gateway. We're the gateway for our country uh, to Latin America and to Asia, uh, the port, the airport, our infrastructure, you, all of you, exporters, importers, those who are involved in bringing in foreign direct investment, uh, those of you involved in logistics, all of you are critical not only to what we do here in LA, you are of course in jobs here, but you're critical to the health and economy of this region and our country. And I applaud you for what you are doing. Uh, the mayor has tried and has been successful in pursuing a, an agenda of promoting transportation infrastructure and improvement, uh, uh, in, uh, infrastructure in addition to transportation. He's up, uh, been applauded and should be for green growth and the way LA has handled that, paying attention and being sensitive to our environment and to conservation at the same time allowing LA to grow and to build the jobs we, we need. But he's extended the reach of LA, not only by the trips he's taken to Asia or Latin America, but also by the way he promotes this city all around the world. It is critical that we do so. No city can thrive, and particularly Los Angeles, unless we build our ties to the rest of the world. It's not just the job of the President of the United States or the Secretary of Commerce, the United States Trade Representative, or the Secretary of Treasury to do it. It's the job of all of us, particularly here in LA, given our ties to the rest of the world, to do it. And it's not just our ties in business, that's important. This is the most diverse city in our country, probably the most diverse city in the world. We have emotional and family and, and historic ties to these countries that we want to do business with, that are critical to our future, but we're critical to theirs as well. So it's incumbent upon all of us to use those ties, not only to promote LA, but to promote the strength and health of our country. Now I have the honor of, permitting, of, of, of presenting a proclamation, which I was given three minutes ago, <laughs> which I've carefully studied in this very, very expensive folder to Valeria Velasquez, who's doing such a great job. Valeria, would you come up here and I'll give you this proclamation from the city of Los Angeles. It's signed by the mayor, not by me, so you're lucky, because oh. <laughs> you couldn't read my writing anyway. And it's acknowledging the great work that not only you are doing, and that everyone's doing in terms of promoting LA and international trade. So congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mike Roos remembers the day I didn't need these. <laughs> 